Hey everybody, it's Jeff Patterson with HomeRepairTutor.com and today I'm going to show you how to install a U-socket and why would you want to install a U-socket. This receptacle is different than a standard receptacle, receptacle in that it has two USB ports in it and two standard places where you can plug in two different devices. So here are the two USB ports. There's one and here's two and then you can plug something in here and something in here which is pretty cool. So you can plug in four different devices into one outlet. So this comes in handy whenever you have outlets within the kitchen like us. And I know we like to plug all of our devices into one location. So for example, in this case, we have our phone plugged in and you have a standard iPod plugged in. But once you have those two items plugged in, you can't do anything else with that receptacle. Well, that's where the U socket comes into play. Now you can plug in you know, two iPods, an e-reader, and an iPhone all in one location and have them charging safely away from a boiling pot of water. I don't know about you, but I don't want my iPhone ruined by a boiling pot of penne pasta. So that's where the U socket comes into play. And I'll show you how to easily install it. The first step is to turn off the power. And in this case, I turned the power, I knew which circuit breaker the phone was on, and I turned that off. And you, I'm pointing here to the charge light. The charge light is off, so I know that the outlet is safely discharge there's no electricity in it plus I did check it with a multimeter so I knew that there was a, it wasn't hot there's no electricity running to it the next step is to remove the old receptacle and I have one huge tip for you uh, that I've just learned over <laughs> the years replacing these receptacles and that is this you want to keep the screws that you take uh, or the screws that held the outlet into the outlet box. So in this case, this screw that I'm holding is about one and a half inches long, whereas a standard screw, like the one on the top here, is only one inch long, and the screws that come with the U-socket are only one inch long as well. So if I threw these screws away, I would literally be screwed. So I want to let you know that you should you should definitely keep those uh, for when you need to install the U socket. Okay, so the next picture here is me removing the old receptacle. And the first thing that I do is I, I undo the hot wire. And then I undo the neutral wire, which is the white wire. And then the last wire that I undo is the ground wire. It's just a standard way of, that I've come up with in regard to removing these receptacles. And I also have an end of run here, which has made my installation very simple. An end of run is where you just have one set of wires coming out of the receptacle box. But the U-socket comes with directions showing you how to deal with different um, wiring configurations. And it's very helpful and uh, very straightforward. So in this picture, I wanted to show you there's something special in regard to the um, the U socket. And in this case, you have a silver metal tab that's kind of hindering the installation of the ground wire. And what I ended up doing is you can see here there's like a little space where you need to feed the ground wire up through and wrap it around the green uh, ground screw and that's what you want to do that's how I did it it was the easiest way to install the ground wire and that's how I recommend that you do it okay so the next picture here is kind of a comparison to show you that the U socket really is no different than the standard outlet <laughs> they're both made by the same company which is interesting it's Leviton 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 this is the U socket on the right hand side here and this is just a standard outlet on the left hand side. The only thing that's different is they added a little USB pack to the U socket. So this is important for you to know that it's, it's nothing special in terms of the installation and you can do it if you've installed uh, receptacles in the past. So here's a picture of me installing the ground wire. Again, what you want to do is you want to go through that silver tab, wrap 
the ground wire in a clockwise direction around the green ground screw because when you go to tighten this you want to tighten that ground wire around the green ground screw otherwise if you don't do that when you go to tighten it and you have it wrapping around in the opposite direction the wire is going to come loose so it's very important to remember that okay so here's a picture of me installing the neutral wire it's white and in this case you want to install the white neutral wire to the silver screw of the U socket okay and again important to note here that you're wrapping this loop in a clockwise direction again because you're going to be tightening clockwise you'll be tightening that white neutral wire okay so it's the same deal with the actual hot black wire you want to do the same thing only the black wire goes with the gold screw on the U socket so here's that picture again of the U socket being installed I kept that one and a half inch long outlet screw and that came in handy in this case because now the U socket will be installed uh, the right way. And then here's another important tip that makes the U socket different than a standard receptacle. It comes with a light indicator on it, which I have an arrow pointing to here. If the light is glowing, so if the light is glowing, I think it's orange actually. So if it's orange, it means that you wired the U socket incorrectly. Chances are you probably have the hot and the neutral wires mixed up. All you want to do is turn off the electricity again and swap out the black and the white wires. Um, but in my case, the, the actual light indicator was not on, so I knew that I had wired it correctly. This is a nice little attribute of the U socket that uh, makes it easy to wire. And it's kind of um, just a way to show you that you, you, you did the wiring the right way. So that's kind of neat. The next picture here is me showing you that the final installation, well, after you put the wall plate on, and please don't over tighten this little wall plate screw here. It's right here in the center. Only tighten it enough to keep that wall plate over the U sockets itself because it's special. You won't be able to buy it in a standard store. So if you crack it, you're going to have to buy another one from, say, FastMac. So this is a picture of the, the iPod Touch being plugged into the U socket into one USB port. I have another USB port that's free and two receptacles that are free. That's what makes the U socket so cool. And again, here you go. Here's my phone. It's plugged into one receptacle. I have the iPod Touch plugged into one of the USB ports. I have an extra receptacle and an extra USB port waiting for another device. So it's really that simple. The U socket is a bit pricey. It's about 29 bucks. I bought it from FastMac.com. But when you think about it, if you get a device like a, an iPod Touch, or maybe an e-reader that doesn't come with a charger, you're going to have to pay $30 for a standard receptacle charger. Um, and so if you have multiple devices, if you just buy one U-Socket, you're probably going to save yourself a ton of money. So uh, that's why I bought the product, because invariably we're always getting a lot of different devices, and uh, I figured it would be a good investment. So that's the end of the tutorial. If you like this uh, tutorial, I would say to you know visit me at uh, homerepairtutor.com. Just visit me at www.homerepairtutor.com. Sorry for my messy writing. And uh, we have other tutorials. I have other tutorials on there. And uh, you can also find me on Facebook.com. Just go to Facebook.com slash Home Repair Tutor. And if you visit our website, go ahead and like me because that way it will show up on your Facebook page. And if you found this helpful, then maybe some of your other friends will find it helpful too. And that's really my whole goal is to provide some assistance to people and show them that they can do these DIY projects. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.